Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Phil Studio. Today is a great day because I'm going to show you how to open uh, MD441, which is a popular dynamic microphone made by Sennheiser. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, you see this microphone is fairly easy to open compared to the SM57 that I opened in another episode. Uh, here you can see uh, the brand Sennheiser, the protective griddle here. Uh, so this is a cardioid microphone, dynamic microphone. You can see the name here, the MD441-U. And you have that switch here rotative switch on the part of the um, I'm not sure I think it's for uh, to cut the frequency the low frequency and you also have a, a low a high pass filter here which is a small switch uh, this switch is breaking pretty much often because it is really fragile uh, and you can see here the plastic cover uh, is a bit broken I think someone already tried to open it so, first of all, what you will need is uh, maybe a flat cutter or a, a tiny, small, uh, flat edge screwdriver because you want uh, to remove this ear. Since it's already been open, it will be fairly easy to open, to remove the flat, the plastic, uh, the little plastic cover. And be really gentle these are really fragile and if you want to squeeze it a little bit while you remove it because there are some secure tab here uh you can see i think it's broken no nope, no it's fine here you see there's some tab to hold it in place uh and once this is removed well we're nearly done so I'm gonna take uh, the flatted screwdriver here. Mm -mm. Oh no, it's uh sorry, it's a regular uh Phillips screwdriver. So we have that big screw here. Remove it, and once it's removed, well Actually, you're done because this ear can move freely the XLR connector as well as the rotative switch and be really careful because uh, the wire are tied to get to the switch from the XLR and well it's not right away the XLR because you have a little switch here uh, rotating switch which uh, there is probably some circuitry like a resistor and a condenser in series or parallel just to create the filter or the gain attenuation and uh, these soldering here are really fragile and important to maintain so what you have to do now is slide well this part here and then you can unclip it so it was very easy and you will see there are mainly three parts in this microphone the the barrel here which is the the xlr plug the switch and the whole microphone as we can call it and this part is still available by Sennheiser if you are interested in buying it but i think it's something like 650 dollars all this part and if you need to repair one of these small tiny wire because it's cut or something well unfortunately you will need to order the old assembly because it's coming with the wire unless you're able to open this here but i would not recommend like opening this bit of a mysteries in there um, so you can see they are really fragile 
the green wire just got disconnected and that was one of the problem with this microphone is the flat response the flat position of the switch is working perfectly fine but as soon as you uh, turn the switch to the 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 eye pass filter there's no sound and i think it was due to this green wire being disconnected so the switch is probably working fine but since the green wires cut it maybe on the edge of this part here there's not much we can do because we cannot go inside and solder it so this is why you ask to ask yourself do you want to pay $650 for this part and then repair your MD441 I think it worth it if you really like that microphone it really worth it because what is the price of a new one probably more expensive than the price of this single part here but I know it's pretty much expensive so can get a little bit frustrating so in the meanwhile I'm not going to have this one repaired maybe going to keep it for parts or just to use it with the flat response but this is not like a fully functional microphone which is a bit of asshole but now that you know how to open it it was really really easy you just really need to be careful with these tiny tiny wires and the soldering is not always as perfect after a few years of of running around and utilization so just be really careful and if you want to close it well it's the same <laughs> but just place it a bit offset maybe half a centimeter there half a centimeter there offset and you slide it down then you rotate a little bit at the barrel here so you can align the all of the screw um, for the screw then you screw it back and I can see that this is not the original screw because uh, usually the screw in the MD441 uh, is a flathead screwdriver so maybe uh, they lost someone lost the, the screw on this one and need to have it replaced oh and by the way sorry this is not the right um, emplacement you have to rotate 180 degrees until you see the real hole there now you can screw it and be really careful when rotating this barrel here because all of the wires are connected to the switch and if you're lucky enough and the problem is only the switch uh, I think Sennheiser is still supplying them you can buy them for something like 10 or 16 dollars I'm not sure or maybe less and once you're done these parts are really fragile and they can be replaced too um, not sure if I'm going to use some glue instant glue for this one I'm not sure it's worth it um, but yep that was about it so you just clip it back and make sure that the switch is still clicking unfortunately this one is a bit half dead so you can still use it in the the, the flat uh, response rate which is not a bad thing because if you're not doing live uh, you can always cut later or even if you're doing live you live i mean live show you can always cut the the base um right on your mixer i know it's more convenient to have it on the microphone sometime but it's not of a big deal for uh, for now i think so i hope you enjoyed it it was fairly easy and if you need more information about the uh, md441 you can just ask in the in the comment and uh yeah i think it's the time so i ask you to subscribe please just subscribe my channel now do it if you want uh, if you think that's interesting just sub or just continue to watch my video that's really fine uh, I'm really happy with you watching my video. <laughs>
<laughs> and yeah, that's it. So uh, I, I think I could have some, maybe some other microphones. So if you're interested in opening of the microphone of any brand, just ask me. Maybe I have it in stock. So I can check if I'm able to open it and sh do a little tutorial. Why not? That could be fun. So thanks for watching again and see you next time.